Part 1. White Clouds. Harpstring Moon. Familiar Scenery. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltine and Grander. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, Use your time wisely. More bandits. Not very original, Teach. Well, as long as you're with us, at least things won't be boring. In fact, it may take a turn for the interesting. And with that, I take my leave to make my final preparations. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Well, I didn't expect it would be easy on you. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. It seems I was right to worry. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now. But don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever. Hey, Teach. Glad you can make it. We've been waiting on you. It seems the Knights have our foes cornered. They are in Xanado, the Red Canyon. It's bandit time? That sounds like real night work. Let's get to it. I'm itching to put my skills to the test as well. We have to win so Captain Gerald can see how much I've learned. I thought Gerald wasn't coming with us. Either way, I'll give it everything I've got. Um, even if I go... It's not like I'd be of any use. That's enough of that. If we don't work together and give it our all, we are doomed to fail. You can be pretty intense sometimes, Lysithia. But I agree. Let's do our best. If we fight half as well as we chatter, we'll be fine. Come on, Teach. Lead the way. Taking children into battle, are we? I am not certain I will be able to sleep soundly after beholding something like that. I shall allow you to turn back the hands of time. But no, this power is not infinite. So this is the Red Canyon. Doesn't look red to me. Anyway, let's get things started, Teach. Looks like the thieves have been driven back. That's what we last heard, so no surprise there. 
The knights chased us all the way here? Chief, let's get out of here. There's no way we can win against them. Shut your dumb mouth! Where would we go at this point? You can't be a thief if you fear death! I hear there's a back road to the west. How about we split up and attack from there and from the front? We may be able to corner the enemy by approaching from both sides. In any case, we need to cross the bridge first. I'll leave the details to you, Teach. Let us be cautious. Naturally. Nobles must be strong. It is a noble's duty to guard the welfare of the people. Nothing personal. Let's get to it. How do you like that? Gotta keep improving. This is what I've trained for. Forgive me, Goddess, and save their souls. <laughs> Sorry, don't know my own strength. Still got room to grow. I'm good at training. This is my first real fight. I guess I'm pretty strong. I put in some work. I'm still a delicate flower, you know. I was planning to just sit back and watch, but hey, I got one! <laughs> Who knew? I'm sorry, I didn't have a choice. Outmatched. A precious opportunity to test my own strength. I won't make waste of your deaths. Ready and willing. <laughs> Sorry, but victory is mine. Life doesn't always go as planned. We were taken by surprise last time, but... I guess this is what we can expect when battling thieves. You're... It can't be... The mercenary from before? So what, now you're pals with the knights? Uh, I'll kill you and your pesky brats! So, yeah! Spoiled little noble, just die like a good little rich kid! Being noble has nothing to do with who you are as a person or how hard your life is. Your logic is illogical. <laughs> Sending these brats instead of the knights means they've underestimated me! Mistake. Uh, I should have never listened to that idiot. What a mistake. Uh. Can't get comfortable. 
comfortable. Those thieves ran out of luck when they entered this canyon. They never had a chance. Your leadership was amazing, Teach. Let's leave the rest of this work to the knights. that you recall this place. You must be weak of heart. Each time I speak, it scares you so. Although the battle's at an end, do not feel too at ease. Well, anyhow, I am quite fascinated by this place. As far as I can tell, this is your first time here. Here? I dare say it would be impossible to have forgotten such a place as this. I must admit I am unsure. Beyond the name and the strange feeling of familiarity, I can't seem to remember anything about this place. And yet, a great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow, pain and love and all things in between. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what took place. Teach, what are you doing here? We should get back to the Academy. It is time to depart. But know that time reveals all things. One day I will remember that which I have lost. Oh, by the way, it seems you've earned my gratitude. The thieves who came here are no more. I am not sure myself, yet I am grateful all the same. In any case... You must become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. Oh, you think you're standing strong? <laughs> Of course you are. It was a jest. Hey, Teach. On the way back, you seemed transfixed by the canyon. Did something happen there? Nice try, but you can't get anything past me. You saw something, or felt something. I'm sure of it. But hey, if you don't want to share, that's fine by me. Everyone has their secrets. Although, I'll admit, there is something about that canyon that has me captivated as well. How did Xanado come to be called the Red Canyon? Nothing there was actually red. So you have safely disposed of those bandits. I pray that their souls find salvation. But why did they target the students to begin with? We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. Good. I have high expectations for you. By the way, how was your time in Xanado? Legend has it in ancient times, a goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. For a goddess from the heavens, Xanado could only have been a temporary haven. Long ago, the Divine Seros received a revelation from the Goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. The Goddess is always watching over Fodlin from her kingdom above. However, in ancient times, the Goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. She is the mother of all life, 
the arbiter of every soul. I see. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Seros. Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. We shall continue our discussion when next we meet. A goddess? I have no memory of her. But then, I have no memory at all. Oh, how bothersome. It is as though I know, and yet I don't. Perhaps Xanado was my home back when the goddess walked the land. If so, what does that make me now? A ghost? That cannot be. I am most certainly alive. Of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Is it somehow connected? Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on, and now I'm forced to stay with you instead. No, that's not it. I can't believe in such a meaningless existence. I... Uh... <sighs> 